stephaniesrockshow.com. We have Steve Moore, the amazing mad drummer. Thanks for being on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. So, Steve, um, I read after seeing Chuck Berry, you wanted to start playing guitar. You jumped into piano, a school band. When did drums come about? Um, I actually played guitar for two or three years, and then I uh, actually had a buddy of mine that was a drummer, and he played a little bit of guitar. And then basically what ended up happening is after a year or two of playing, we just ended up swapping. You know, just watching him play drums just seemed a lot more fun to me, basically. Nice. So, you know, he would teach me, you know, a couple beats here, here and there. And then, of course, I would teach him a few guitar licks. And then again, after about a year or so, we just completely swapped. And then, you know, I started playing drums and pretty much have done it ever since. Wow. That's really interesting. I wonder if your friend kind of wishes... Uh, he stuck with drums, and he could be on YouTube and have the success that you've had. <laughs> oh, no, he's an awesome guy. We still keep in touch. Uh, we actually talked about him a month ago. So, yeah, he's, he's still a fantastic fellow. We, we keep in touch a good bit. Great. Um, just, you know how huge and successful this, this videos have all been. Um, just to give you an idea, I just think it's great. Um, I was actually up in the Hollywood Hills at Joey Jordison, the drummer of Slipknot and now the drummer for Rob Zombie. And he was the one that said, sit down, you need to see this video. It's amazing and famous. <laughs> That's fantastic. Joey's a great, great drummer. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Nice. That's who first showed it to me. So, I mean, he was like, this guy is really good. I, I have to tell you that actually the, the, the best part of everything that's happened as far as the video going viral is, is the amount of contacts that I've made. And I'm not even referring to things like endorsements and, and things like that. But just, you know, obviously, you know, Mike Portnoy from Green Theater, uh, Roy from Stone Sour. I mean, just uh, Shannon Larkin from Godsmack, just blah, 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 blah. I'm just getting emails left and right. That's awesome. All of my heroes. You, know, <laughs> just, you can't really describe how incredible that, that feeling is, you know, to have people that you've looked up to for 10 years, you know, just give you a friendly email and, and say that they enjoy your playing. That's just a huge, huge feeling. That's got to be phenomenal that, yeah, people you've looked up to are now, you know, my goodness, I watched you and I loved it. Um, yeah, I did. I, it is. It's really, it's just incredible. It's just incredible. Wow. Um, so how did Rick Kay and the All Nighters come about? Well, Rick has actually had the band for about 20 years, uh, maybe just a little little longer than that, actually. And then I've been with him now for about 10 years. Uh, prior to that, um, pretty much every band I've been in ever since literally grade school has been really, really, really hardcore. I mean, either, either death metal or progressive metal, um, a lot of punk bands, but every, everything that I did prior to Rick was, was pretty heavy stuff. Wow. And then, of course, Rick's drummer retired, so he had heard about me, you know, like I said, several years ago, called me on the phone, and asked if I'd be interested, and obviously, it was a, a real culture shock, you know, going from the kind of material that I was playing into what, what Rick does. So that's where a lot of that actually comes from. You know, a lot of times you hear people comment about, you know, metal band, metal band, metal band. And that's completely the truth. You know, because <laughs> that's, that's totally my roots, is, is all metal. So I love, it comes out when you play. In the visual. I'm sorry? Oh, I love it comes out when you play, because you're with this cute kind of family-friendly band, and then you're just jamming hard like metal, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't, I can't. Well, and, and I'm actually fortunate because the guys in the band, they never really tried to, to calm me down, or, you know what I mean? Or they never really said, you know, don't do that. You're taking attention away from the guitar player. Or, you know, the kind of thing you would normally hear. I, I never heard that. I mean, they, they loved what I did, so I just would do it all the time. You know, I mean, not, not in every song. I don't mean that, of course. You know what I mean? When it's, when it's appropriate, of course, you know, if there is such a thing with me. But nonetheless... <laughs> where a lot of it comes from it's just they they like it you know and they actually ag it on so yeah I have a good time with it and i don't have to watch myself or sit back and, and be a good boy you know i could just do my thing and have a blast that's so, great that's there's fun. there's no uh jealousy with the guys and your newfound fame is that no i don't I, I don't i don't think so because again it's i mean obviously i've gotten a lot of press from it you know and endorsements and i mean just some great great things have happened you know, and of course, we're starting to get offers to go, you know, international and a bunch of really nice things. But at the same time, the show's been the same for years and years. 
so it's not like it's anything new necessarily. I mean, other than the fact that other people are catching on to it as far as the show. You know, we, we've done the same thing for years and years, so they're great with it. Yeah, real, they're, they're, they're fine with it. That's great. They're just supporting everything and uh, all the connections. Um, sure. So I heard you have your own signature drumsticks. What company and uh, where can we find them? Uh, those are, it's actually just a Promark uh, 5B, I believe. Uh, but okay. of course, you know, they've been nice enough to put my name on it and, and all of that. So I'm sure anybody that just contacts Promark, you know, you can get them pretty much any place. Great. And you have a website uh, we can find you at. What's that website? Sure. It's just themaddrummer.com. And it has DVDs, drumsticks, you know, T-shirts, you know, sweatshirts, all that kind of thing right on it. Great. And then you played, I read, with one of my favorite bands, Montley Crew. How did how did that happen? That's awesome. That was a very, very, very long time ago. Um, a band I was in called Triple X uh, years and years and years ago uh, actually opened up for Motley Crue. Um, and then there's, just been, there's been a lot of bands, actually. I mean, I don't want to name drop, but just so, so, so many bands that I've had the opportunity to play with. And then, of course, obviously, when, when you sit and see a drummer like that, there's no way around it. You're, you're going to see a little bit of it, you know, or it's going to inspire you or however you want to, you know, word that. Yeah. But again, that's where that's where a lot of that comes from. I've just been really, really fortunate. Again, I mean, my probably my biggest influence visually, without a doubt, is Shannon Larkin, uh, the drummer for Godsmack, uh, which of course he used to play for a band called Rothschild America, and my old band, like twenty years ago, used to open up for Rothschild. Oh wow! Course, so sitting there watching Shannon every night. I mean, it's going to it's going to rub off on you because he's just he's a he's a monster. He's just an amazing player, and he's a nice guy on top of. It. So, how long did it take to practice for the ZZ Top Sharp Dressed Man video to get all those hot moves down? No, I mean, you mean as far as the choreography with, with the band? Yeah, the, the choreography band? Uh, with the with the drumming. Oh, with what I do, uh, well, to be honest with you, there really isn't any actual choreography. Um, Again, I've just done it for so, so many years that that's pretty much just the way that I play. That's and awesome. Be, you know, and it just happens to be that particular song. You know, I mean, I, 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 I jack it up, you know, just a little bit as far as energy goes. But pretty much most of the stuff that we do, again, not a ballad, you know, or something stupid again, but anything that's a long, you know, a high energy kind of a song. I mean, that's, that's pretty much what I, what I do all night. Again, that's just... It's not to show off, it's just, that's just the way that I play. Yeah, that's, oh, it's great. And you play amazingly well, Steve. You're- 